Hello everyone, in the next video from Flashpoint Campaign Southern Storm and we are back to quietly close the Donau scenario. So last time what have we done? Well, we, we've done a lot. Uh, there's multiple different kills and destroyed vehicles. Uh, so we are still defending across the Donau. Our Southern Bridgehead is trying to hold massive push from from north. Uh, let me take a look what we have here. <coughs> we have single mechanized rifle unit. I think that's an easy target. I guess they are not equipped with any ATGMs. Probably only some kind of RPG uh, and that's it. So they are not a huge threat for us, especially from, from such a distance, so we should get rid of them quite quite smoothly. Then we have two times BVP, uh, three times mech rifle, why why does it disappear? One times Malutka, one times Strela, and one times Headquarters. So Malutka is the biggest threat for us. Hopefully we will be able to, to smoothly neutralize that. Uh, what's next? Then we have... <coughs> oh! that information is messed up because it says 8 times BVP <coughs> 1 and 9 times McRifle. We only see f number 3 here, so I guess I guess something is uh, either unidentified or or I don't know what's wrong with that. <coughs> the biggest threat is probably that tank company uh, the good news is that those are T-55s, 13 of them, uh, but still t 55 so it's not a huge threat. Of course, they outnumber us, uh, but hopefully we have enough ammunition to deal with them. It's quite surprising for me that our second platoon from second company is not firing yet. Let me take a look. Okay, yeah, his vision is limited because of... Uh, because of rain so what what can you see from your location <coughs> okay interesting I'm wondering whether they can see see us so the placement is quite uh, quite problematic but I don't think I want to move them from from the city or, or from down this town actually okay uh, what else we have some are those mortars? No. That's uh, three times OT90 and six times 82 millimeters uh, VZ52. Okay. Then we have another mechanized infantry company, and you are also equipped with OT90, four times 82 millimeters VZ52. Okay. We have some headquarter units. Uh, but I guess that our first anti-tank platoon is able to to neutralize them, despite the fact uh, half of its vehicles is is down. Okay, those are information. And as far as I remember, our third company is moving towards new positions around Welschenberg and Niederwinkling. So. We are going to either mm, capture those hills and set up new firing positions to support our southern flank, or we have another option. We could take one or two platoons and send them towards enemy HQ and also enemy artillery. By doing so, we could neutralize that threat. The question is whether they can they can see us. They could spot us, but hmm. I'm wondering whether we should we should do that. Mm, they are going here. Okay, let me take a look at one more thing. Okay, the vision is limited. So yeah. Now I'm 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 thinking about that move. Instead of reinforcing the southern flank, I guess it will it will survive that thrust. Mm, we could send our third 
third company to, or at least some of its elements to, to neutralize enemy HQ. And we could do that. Because the terrain is quite, quite good for us. So maybe, maybe why not? The question is how many platoons should go this way? Two platoons e should be should be definitely enough. I well I have three to my disposal, uh, so it's kind of a gamble though. Let me check. Hmm. <laughs> That's a vital question. How much time we have? We have less than three hours, <coughs> almost three hours till the end of the of the scenario. So, okay, uh, let me do that. <coughs> the question is that uh, it will affect slightly their movement, uh, but that should be okay. So instead of going towards Velschenberg, is it Velschenberg? I think I think it is. We will go towards the ridge line here. This way. Uh, from the fourth to fifth point, I think I would like to use. It looks weird. Can I s somehow modify it? Okay, that like that. What if I do it like that? Okay, that could be. Yeah, that could work quite quite nice. This is weird. That's because they are using uh, concealment for for that move. So we can we can modify that. It's from the fourth to fifth. So let's edit. Let's select roads and let's apply. Okay, no, no it, it doesn't affect uh, anyway. What if we change the fifth order? Okay, now it's changed. Beautiful. That looks good. Okay, so what we can see from from that location, we can see quite a lot. The problem is that's the only uh, nicely covered position. You can see cover 89% and concealment 90, 96. 96. Also, I have that information down there if I would like to use it. Mm, we have one more uh, platoon available. I wanted to send, uh, I guess it's the first platoon, and the first platoon will capture the hill here. My question is that is one platoon enough to neutralize enemy HQ? It might be not. Uh, but I guess that I can quickly react with my first platoon if the third platoon uh, needs support. So I will leave the orders for first platoon as they are uh, right now, and then we will will think about that. Now I would also maybe I should also send my tank platoon uh, from that position to the position where my anti-tank team is stationing well i'm sorry this is a platoon mm, let me take a look we will move kst here and up to maybe here and then to that location let's commit uh, we will hold and of course we will change the last uh, order to move deliberate and that's going that's going to take around 56 minutes. I'm not super happy of leaving that position, but with the reconnaissance I have available, I don't see any movement to towards uh, towards Bogen. So I'm assuming that flank is secured uh, and I can now uh, relocate my, my forces. So that's the plan. Well, hopefully that's gonna work. We'll find out soon. Now, uh, let's check Mm, ammunition. You will start holding in about five minutes because you missed some. Well, you have plenty of rounds available. Oh, you switched to rest and resupply. I guess because what's what's your trigger? Default, twenty five percent. Mhm. So we will switch it to. 15% or maybe even 10 and readiness recover to 80% and that's the plan let's apply to this unit only okay looks good to me mm. 
let's check our air defense section. We have still two th stingers available, two rounds, and Gepard. So I think I'm not going to put them into rest and resupply. We are of course emitting uh, a radio transmission. I mean, the, the radar is active on Gepard, so they can detect us, uh, especially SIGINT, which is signal intelligence. But so far, it's 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 quite quite okay for them. Mm, next, uh, let's go to the second anti tank platoon. You are also in rest and resupply. You will be ready at around 0912. Let me take a look at your SOP. Yeah, you also have that trigger at 25%. Let's decrease it down to 10, and of course readiness to 80%. I I don't need more. Okay, that's updated. Now uh, I have the other unit. I have the third platoon from the second company. What's your ammunition status? No Milans for Panzer Grenadiers equipped with 80 GM, and we have four Milans uh, in two Martyrs still available. And we may need to switch to to rest and resupply. The question is when exactly. I'm guessing that if we if we use all of available Milans, it should decrease down to 45% of of available ammunition or key ammunition, and then it should switch automatically to to resident resupply. But we should change one more thing, which is readiness. And readiness, we, we just need at around 80%. It's gonna be fine. Okay. We also have to monitor that. Okay, let's go. Let's go further. Uh, now, first tank platoon. Uh, what's the ammunition? 53%. Ooh. We have nine high explosives rounds. A lot of piercing armor piercing rounds. That's okay because we are expecting enemy tank company to approach. Uh, and also high explosives anti-tank rounds. Okay, you have three different types of ammunition, which is high explosives, armor piercing, and high explosives anti-tank rounds. Okay, so I, I, I'm I'm guessing you, you are okay at that point. Staff. Yeah, uh, all seven hit is low. That's fine. Okay, so the first tank platoon is okay. Now we have first a platoon from the second company. What you have here, you have five millions and only two martyrs left. And you will switch to rest and resupply at around 40. Oh, I haven't changed that for you. Interesting. You will switch to resupply at 20. And I think we'll keep it. The, the only thing we will switch is readiness. Readiness 80% apply. Okay, now, mm, third anti-tank platoon, key ammunition is in terrible, terrible shape. We have only one, or in total two rounds left, and they are in rest and resupply. Of course, we have to modify it slightly, recover to, regarding readiness to 80%, current readiness is 88, so that's, that's fine. And I'm wondering for how long you are going to stay in that rest and resupply. Uh, wait a second. Why it's not why it's not updated? I have a, I have updated that eighty. Oh, and now. Okay, let let me close and let me check. What's going on? It's switching back to. To different value. Eighty. Oh my goodness. Eighty. Apply. When I close, edit order, yeah, it's back to the previous value. No clue what's going on. And let's do it automatically then. I mean, manually. Which is such a bullshit. Okay. 100% uh, of ammunition. Mm, well, let's, let's resupply at least, I don't know, 60% for 16 minutes. That should be okay. Let's proceed. 
and now let's apply and now maybe we can we can edit it can we edit it whatever we can only switch that default so we can modify it the resupply trigger at 10 percent maybe 15 percent and readiness to 80 percent is that going to work now let's edit no it, it's not no why no, it's not updating. Why it's not updating? I'm switching to percent and I'm I'm inputting AT. Okay, I'm I'm going to to use the use the arrow. Apply. Close. Edit. Default. It's still 36. It doesn't change and I have no clue why. This is weird. This is very weird. Unless I'm I'm messing up something, but I don't think so. It's quite it's quite straightforward. Okay, anyway, let's close it. We have to control it all the time, unfortunately. Now let's go to second platoon from the fourth company, which is the tank platoon. And whoa, all Leos are down. There is only one Leo left, so we are not going to modify its orders. And we have also. Second platoon from the second company. One martyr is still still alive. Uh, five rounds available, and also one Panzer Grenadier team with ATGM three Milans available. Uh, okay, that should be that should be fine. Hopefully they will they will be able to use them soon because we really need those rounds. This is quite quite vital. Our engineers are all almost in position or they should be okay yeah they are almost there I would like to give them new orders the problem is that I cannot just add the order here I have to I have to modify the, the, the current existing order uh, also I don't think they will survive if they go now to, to demolish the bridge I could think about the smoke cover putting here but that would be too dangerous I would I would lost all vision uh, I could try to crossfire them uh, from the flank, uh, but that would be only tank platoon and anti-tank, half of anti-tank platoon, that's not enough firepower to to inflict uh, high casualties on, on enemies and stop them from, from pushing across the bridge. So I think we have to wait with my engineers until we we neutralize that that thrust and that's doable uh, most of those units suffered already very very high casualties i'm guessing that their morale are, are low but they are czechoslovakian so they might be brave enough let me take a look at enemy suit trip and there's well plenty of new information but I think reported kills and claims. Okay, 65 in total so far, and mostly mechanized equipment. Okay, let's close. And last look at my artillery. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it switched automatically to engineers despite the fact I I clicked on artillery. Okay, we have three orders to barrage different locations. Fortunately, it's not. I don't know why FSCC. Uh, didn't request uh, fire fire support at at w w when M enemies were were pushing, so I had to do that manually. I also noticed the same behavior in previous scenario where my mortar platoon uh, didn't perform any fire missions uh, automatically under FSCC control. I don't know what's wh what was going on, and the priority of targets was quite high, so I don't get it. So now I switched to manually targeting uh, targeting enemies and hopefully that's gonna work we will find out soon okay uh, so with that being said I think we can we can start another another cycle Jesus it took 20 minutes let's start and let's okay we have to fly as quickly as, as possible. For now we are just waiting, waiting, wasting ammunition. We need, we need, we need good kills now. Okay, yeah, enemy tank company moving forward. 
Looks like our second is not best. Okay, probably one. Yeah, only one. Two fifty-five destroyed. This is not. This is not enough. This is not okay. Yeah. The tank of is pushing. Well, on the bridge they are quite easy targets for us. Unfortunately, enemy artillery is bombarding my second platoon. Okay, yeah, looks like the last murder is lost. Indeed, it is. Now it's indicated by the L, which means leg. You are traveling only one leg. Okay, good. Our our artillery is firing. And what? Those are 155 rounds. Okay, looks like enemy leftovers uh, fall, fell back. Interesting. No, no casualties again. Come on, those are T55s. Uh, they're at the close range. We should be able to destroy them quite smoothly. But enough. Now they are bombarding my positions. Okay, another martyr is lost. Cannot, cannot claim single T55. Despite firing so many rounds. Maybe now something. Oh my goodness! Only one T55. Still 11 of them. Okay, maybe. Maybe a couple of. Well, one BBP and one Jeep. Now one light truck. Do we destroy the plane? Yes, wow. Okay, another kill. We destroyed something. Uh, what was that? In the meantime, we destroyed another T-55, that's good. Okay, I might need to grab my second platoon from the third company and uh, push, push south. They will suffer because of uh, range to HQ, which is far away from Bogor. Of course, I will try to move them closer, but... I need I need some fresh fresh troops to to hit the enemies, especially at the rear. Would be that would be very nice. Okay, now we have a good good shots by our anti-tank platoon. Wow, so many of them. Now the good bombardment by our artillery. Okay, we claimed something, but we don't know what. Good, now our first tank platoon is, is targeting an image. Something else, else, I cannot check that. Okay, there is a tank company. It looks like they destroyed three tanks. And even more. No, now they are targeting targeted an image. Okay, that's also quite, quite important. Our ATGM. Send our second platoon for the leader being link and capture that little hilltop in the area. That could work. That could play out really, really well. We really need to neutralize that that tank commander. Another T55 destroyed because they are responding with uh, artillery fire, which is not good. Yeah, they are continuing doing that. If we could preoccupy the artillery with with that uh, that attack with the third platoon from the third company, that could that could work. At least they wouldn't be able to to fire support the the, the southward attack. Okay, and my anti tank platoon. And now, uh, enemies are pushing really high, hard, especially here we have 90 55s and some mechanized infantry elements. Our minefields are gone, I guess. 
or are, are, are they still active? They are slightly grayed out, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, our tank tank uh, platoon is going to position. What you will you, what you will see from that location? I'm very curious. Oh, you can see a lot, but you cannot see uh, the bridge itself, or at least your vision will be will be limited on that bridge. Okay, what we could do? Uh, what about my artillery? How many rounds we still have available? We have nine high explosives rounds, and we have the order going on right now. S let's switch the, the target, uh, the bridge, or in front of the bridge. Well, we could target that location, which is the bridge itself, or the location before the bridge. Do we have so many rounds available? We're 30 rounds. Probably, yeah, 54 still available. And what's your rest and resupply at 10%? Okay. So we could actually use even more of those rounds. How many rounds in total we have? Can we somehow check it? Or I have to manually calculate it? I think I can. This is avail available in not here, personal and logistics, ammunition. Those are 155 millimeters, uh, but not smoke visually blocking. I'm looking for high explosives. Mm, we have 144 of them. 10% that's going to be 14 rounds. Okay, and we will have 24 left. 14 you said so what if I use for 45 rounds let's do it that should that should work now uh, our second platoon captured the position now let's find out a new place from where you could provide fire support oh that would be that would be absolutely perfect place to do so so uh, let's do it we'll go to Welschenberg here we will cross the open field. I know that's a that's a bold move. And through that open field to that location and let's see. We will screen. Looks good. How much time is gonna take you? Okay, around around forty minute minutes. Okay. That can work out nicely. Uh play out nicely. You will be in place as the first platoon from the third company will be will capture the hilltop uh, overlooking Niederwinkling in about 15 minutes. We could give them new orders. Oh! Can you see enemy HQ from that location? Not really. Okay, we need to capture that hill uh, east of Schwarzach. So, we'll move the Libert. We will go here, 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 here. We will commit, of course. We will screen. That's the path for us. Of course, we'll uh, respond with fire if necessary. Mm, I don't need to assault those positions. I don't think there are enemy enemy units hidden. Of course, I'm using move deliberate, so that should work. That's gonna take only 26 minutes. That's very nice. What about my HQ? My HQ, I need you way closer. Why Why did you select that path? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. That's gonna take you around 35 minutes. I don't mind if you do so. I can even go with that HQ over here. Cover 76%, concealment 84%. Or even here. Okay, yeah. Let's let's change that order. Uh, they will they will have to move back. I'm guessing that that's the quickest way to do so. You are using roads. No, you are not. What if you select using roads? Oh. Uh, it saves seven minutes. 
I don't think it's necessary. Let's let's stick it stick to to that path. That should be fine. Okay, so the third platoon from from uh, from the third company has an order. Uh, our HQ also. Our first platoon from the third company also. And how much time? That's gonna take you 15 minutes. Okay. I may need to move them uh, more northeast. I guess. I think that, that that should be the plan. Now I'm also thinking that maybe it would make sense to bring them bring them southwards to to support the fence. Uh, but well, that's a good question. Okay, quick look at the ammunition. Of course, all the martyrs are down and not too many, I guess, casualties claims inflicted. Only single claim. Wow, this is terrible. And they, they they fired four millions to destroy a single T fifty five. Wow. This is this is terrible. And what we have we don't have millions left. Wow. Wow, how nice. Of course we need to resupply to one hundred percent because we need millions, so let's do so. It's it's gonna take seventeen minutes for them. Then, uh, looks like we have lost first platoon from the second company, yeah. So we have still two. Why do you have rest and resupply? Okay. We have still two. Rak, Yak, Panza, Zwei, or anti tank uh, vehicles equipped with ATGMs. They will be holding in about two minutes, which is okay. That should be that should be fine. I hope so. Well, that 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 game sometimes sometimes misleading. And also we have uh, first tank platoon. Still three Leos are are up. We have we have ammunition available. You have resupply trigger twenty five percent. I'm going to decrease it. I'm going to decrease it to 10%. Apply. And I would like to really modify readiness. And I will apply... I mean, I would, I would like to set up readiness at 80% as a target readiness. But that's not going to be update. Of course not. What's going on with that? I, I don't get it. Whatever. Okay, let's let's leave it as it is. Okay, uh, our second anti-tank platoon. Still plenty of runs available. Uh, your resupply trigger is at ten percent, which is which is very nice. That should be should be enough to stop at least a couple of enemy vehicles. So let's close it. We also have third platoon from the second company. Uh, what's your ammunition status? Two Milans left in both Martyrs and no Milans in our Panzer Grenadier team. So here we here we will switch to rest and resupply. Of course to 100% only 11 minutes. Beautiful. In total that's gonna take 25 minutes to, to again hold position. Good. Now our first anti-tank platoon. Plenty of ammunition available. And uh, our third tank platoon is coming into position. They should be there in about 17 minutes. 17? No, I'm sorry, 27 minutes. Okay. So that's even more than a than a full cycle. Okay. Well, we we have to we have to accept that. Mm. And let's see what's here stationing. Some mac rifles. That's fine. Here also my rifles. that's not a huge threat for us. Some very minor leftovers, single mech rifle and probably some, some machine gun or whatever, I don't know. Uh, at the back we have tank company, what kind of tanks? Okay, we only have, have them classified as tanks, so we don't know whether those are T-55s or T-72. I'm guessing those are T-55s, since we are playing against Czechoslovakians, so that's my guess. 
Uh, also, there's enemy HQ, it's almost gone. Single unit is left. Also, we have something here. This is detected as self propelled anti tank. Okay. I'm more worried about what's going on down there, uh, close to the bridge. So we have almost, maybe not almost full, but around 70% of enemy mechanized infantry company. And then some leftovers from mechanized infantry company and still 9 T-55s active. So yeah, we really, really need reinforcement. So I, I hope that the second platoon from the third company will be will be an enough uh, but we'll find out soon also our artillery has an order to bombard bridge which is which is good surely we could also go for the full 50 50 rounds can I can I switch to 54 of course game doesn't want to help this is terrible this is absolutely terrible who who invented that? This is... Uh, I, I don't know what we're doing. Let's select it manually, please. Can I use arrows to the... I'm using the up arrow and it's decreasing it. When I use down arrow, okay. 50 rounds. Let's leave those four rounds as they are. Dear God, this is, this is absolutely terrible. Uh, okay, that's done. I think we have, well, it's al almost 30, 37 minutes. So let's run one more, one more cycle, and let's see what will, what will happen. It's gonna be interesting, I guess. Okay, good. Our artillery is firing. Ooh, ooh, two claims, three claims, four claims, five. What has happened here? Four T-55s are gone by our artillery. What was that? We are going to jump into unit log to, to find out uh, about exact numbers, but this is this is sublime job by, by our artillery. Wow. Fortunately we've lost one anti-tank and vehicle. Because they are bombarding us, also. and we are bombarding them too. Oh, single plane achieved. We lo we've lost vision, uh, by the way. We don't see what's going on. This is weird. This is the dome field. We should be able to to see what's going on. Okay. Whatever. From the third company is attacking enemy HQ. There are two enemy HQs. Those are massive HQs. Oh my goodness! If we can destroy it, that would be huge. Unfortunately, enemy artillery is far away, but we could take my my first platoon from the third company and try to hit them. Uh, let, what about SOP? Oh my goodness! They are almost in range. If you get just slightly, slightly closer, please, we are going to hit you. If I switch to that location, would that... Oh my god, 
there is a chance there is a big chance to hunt down enemy artillery do we know what kind of artillery it is it's by the way a meeting meeting the radar interesting okay we, we we almost don't see what's going on uh out here out there i'm thinking about grabbing my uh my tank platoon and and pushing it southwards mm. we still have well the ammunition yeah ammunition is a problem now are we able to stop them stop them from crossing Oh well, yeah, again, the ammunition is it's non-existent now. Okay, we are almost out of mm, uh, high explosive rounds for our, our artillery, so we need to put them into rest and resupply. And you can see that smoke rounds constitute around 20% of key ammunition for 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 that particular artillery company. So it's it's worth remembering. Mm. Yeah, the resupply trigger is set uh, set up at ten percent, mm, so you can see that at around twenty percent they are running out of high explosives rounds. Of course, we will switch them to recent resupply, but they could be resupplying uh, way earlier. So I really miss miss the option that we can set up the rest and resupply. I mean the resupply trigger when particular kind of ammunition I I is gone so in that case uh, high explosive rounds are almost gone or are at like for example i don't know 10 percent uh then we switch to rest and resupply and we don't waste time that would be huge huge benefit but it's not and we somehow have we have to somehow calculate key ammunition and mm, and other stuff which is which is quite 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 annoying uh if i'm if i'm honest with you okay uh, i think we have around 42 minutes we still have more than two hours left for for that scenario so i guess at least one or maybe maybe two uh two episodes are left for quietly close the don't know for but for today that would be it i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one once again thank you and goodbye